Welcome to another tutorial by Saul from theweb.com. This tutorial is going to cover product attributes. Uh, so if you haven't already done so, go ahead and log into the administrative end of your uh, store and go ahead and navigate over to catalog section. And from the catalog section, uh, go ahead and click on the product attributes link. And that will bring up a window similar to one we have here. So what you do, uh, there's three parts, there's three steps that you need to take in order to add a product attribute to your product, and whether it's size, color, or if you want to add something like gift wrapping, basically there's, there's three parts. So the first part is you're going to create the the name, the option, uh, whatever it's going to be. So for instance, uh, right now we're going to we're going to create the color uh, option, and we're going to for comments this is what uh, this is what depending on how your shopping cart is set up this is what uh customers are going to see when uh they're given the option to choose so right now we're going to go ahead and put in select color and here under option type is the different is the types of uh options that you can uh set up so you can have a just a text area a radio button a checkbox um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use select. Select is a drop-down menu similar to one you see here. So if you select select, this is the type of drop-down menu that your your customers will see. Size is the uh, how how big, how many characters wide uh, you want the the selection the area to be. Uh, we're just going to leave that blank. So let it uh, default to I think it's about 25 characters or something like that. Uh, sort order is if you have more than one option, so if you had size, color, and any other options, uh, whatever you put in here, the lower the number, the the higher they, they appear. So if we put one, this would be listed as the first option. So go ahead and insert that. So now we have the option to select a color, uh, but we don't have any colors yet. So what we're going to do is go down and add uh, values to the option color so if you click here you see colors the only one we have so we're going to go ahead and uh, add the values and by the way I'm only adding values to this top area here same as on the top here and that's because this is the English language if you if your shopping cart is set up in various languages then you're going to need to do this for the different languages that your cart is set up for but this shopping cart is only set up in English so that's why I'm only dealing with the English uh, areas right now all right so we're going to go ahead and put in some simple colors so we'll put red and you have to do each of these one by one so we'll go ahead and insert red and after that is done we'll go ahead and with color selected insert blue Lastly, we'll go ahead and insert green, just to keep this simple. Now, I'm not going to go through doing too many of these because they're all basically the same. Uh, if you're adding, for instance, uh, a checkbox um, for whether or not a customer wants the item gift wrapped, you would do it in the same manner. You would put uh, gift wrap here and put, uh, would you like gift wrapping over here in the comments area? And you can make it a checkbox instead of a drop down because there's only if yes or no. Um, then you go out down here and you'd have gift box and you'd have uh, whatever it is, bag or box, if there's two different options or just the one option for box. Um, and let's go ahead and add this to an item. So we'll go and add it to, uh, how about our uh, two slice toaster here? And so we'll go ahead and add color. Uh, Okay, and now it gives you the options. So depending on which one you want listed first, which is the default color, we'll leave red as the default. So we'll put that as sort order number one. Now here, if you actually had uh, if uh, different colors were different prices, you could you could put the value in here. So for instance, if you if red cost an extra five dollars, you would put five dollars in here, and then of the plus sign would add just five dollars to the total price of the of the item. Um, vice versa, if, if for instance you have a, a plain or no color uh, option and you wanted that to reduce the price of the item, you could put $5 in and put a minus 